How you doing in this exposure? I'm Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Eddie. Yeah. Yeah, what's up, man? I'm Jesse. The line of Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Your music as musical gumbo. What goes in the musical gumbo? Rice, peas, shrimp, definitely shrimp. Beans, nah, um, beans, beans. Just inspiration, man. Like we, just, we, we pour from everywhere, man. We just throw it all in the pot, and then we'll come out and make it do what it do, baby. Well, what we love about trap step, dub step, um, is this. Man, they would explode. You know what I mean? Like I, you know, hip hop, even in the sense is, you know, traditionally loop based. You know, and, and you pretty, you get a good loop, and the explosion usually comes vocally. You know, be a rapper or a singer or whatnot. But one thing that's cool about, I think, with the electronic side of the game is that the game with dubstep and trap is that explosion. You know, that kind of just reminiscent to me of a rock guitar. You know, on a rock song where that rock soul come in and all that verb on it, and, and you know he's riffing all over the place. But now you can do it with bass. You guys said that you, you all got together by playing lots of house parties together. The craziest shit you've ever seen at a house party. Whoa. <laughs> you gotta really think about that. Yeah. The if craziest? You, craziest. I actually have seen a girl um, throwing up and shitting at the same time. So. You know what's the craziest thing though? I was out there and there was a dude passed out on the ground and his homeboy was peeing on me. I like the visuals to be something to like, it's just something different, you know? Like, it's something inspiring for us. And then some weird. We just gotta have a little bit of weirdness to it just to throw you off a little bit. Like, any, everything that's just too, we try not to be too straightforward in anything. Just so you can have a little bit of imagination, you can come up with your own idea for what, what you think we said. Yeah, I mean, like, you can definitely tell that with Freedomville and whatnot, but I mean, I gotta ask, who's the Clockwork fan, Orange fan? <laughs> Please. All of us, man. Like, we, uh, <laughs> like, like we um, actually stumbled across that movie, man, and um, it was weird. We stumbled across it during the time we were about to do the um, Freedomville video, and uh, going with the whole Naughty Dog Phobia thing, so just watching it, it was just like, man, this is perfect, you know, because it's so intelligent and witty and crazy and kind of disturbing at the same time. Oh yeah. Break, head, hurt, die, but no we have some surreal lyrics in there too. That fuck shit. Nah, <laughs> don't be on it. Man, man. real talk, man. Don't be on it. You gotta be. What is, be. What is that fuck shit? Fuck shit, man, you weren't talking about What the haters do, anything that, you know, you're doing something different and somebody's like, ah, oh, you gotta do it this way or if somebody, the fuck shit can be many things, man. People <laughs> fuck shit is bitch assness. Yes, <laughs> really, it's, it's bitch assness and all. Somebody hating on your dream because you want to do something. Somebody, you know what I'm saying, anyway, trying to take you, your girl. Anyway, you boxed in. Trying to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you boxed in, that's to me, that's that's fuck shit. That's fuck shit. We all watch the duck. Yes, we all. And we chilling here with indecent exposure. And I would expose some indecent shit, but it would be really too indecent because it ain't no women in the room. It's just yeah, it ratio for Indecent exposure. Yeah. But indecent exposure, man. Get indecent, Toronto.